There's only two ways they can stop the magazine. One is through legal action, and the other is to shoot me. It ruthlessly uncovers crime and corruption at all levels. Gangsters, crooked police, dodgy councillors, small-time hoods and petty criminals. Even the most minor offence could land you in the pages of the paper. This is the world of the digger, and nobody's safe from it. Get yourself to fuck. Boy, he's a liar. He must have some guts to print some of the things that he prints. They go to issues that the mainstream press don't seem to want to touch. My name is David. I'm a documentary filmmaker. Over the next few weeks, I'd be working as the paper's court photographer, nailing paedophiles, gangsters and petty crooks. I'd be gaining unique access into the digger's operation. How will my relationship with the vigilante editor develop? And what will I ultimately learn? Gotcha. This is the heart of Digger Country. With sales of over 10,000 copies a week, the pocket-sized crime magazine has cornered a market untouched by the mainstream media. I think the Digger's a very good paper and it tells you, you know, different things, you know, about different people, you know, and their crimes. There's lots of good viewpoints on it, you know what I mean, about naming and shaming paedophiles. It allows people in the community to know, yeah. know who to what's going on. And what's going on. Aye. Printed weekly by an underground press, the digger sells for 50 pence at over 100 news agents across the city. People buy it because they like to read what's in it. People buy it to see if their name's in it. And people buy it to maybe get a good laugh at somebody else's expense. I've been in the jail with people before it's been in the digger and that. Really? Aye, and they're all, oh, look, you're in the digger, oh, dinner, they hang me, oh, happy and all that. <laughs> yeah. Exposing crime and corruption is its main agenda, and the digger suspects everyone. Even the police and the legal establishment have been blasted by the magazine. He's a shite bag. That's exactly what he is. But he it's prints things about people, no, 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 even, he's not even got the decency to face them. It's the whole system. There's nothing as exempt. But the digger and its editor are creating enemies on both sides of the law. Editors weren't putting the planet to be liked. They were putting the planet to be disliked by authority, and I would imagine this guy is probably the most disliked journalist on the planet at the moment. James Cruikshank is the founder and driving force of the magazine. With various threats made on his life, he insists on wearing dark glasses. The crooks and the criminals and the scum that have influence hate journalists because they put the information out. This house is like a metaphor for the digger, a sort of uh, symbol of defiance. See, that house should be knocked down, but the people in that house that are saying, you're not knocking down my house, because it's my house. If you're going to knock my house down, you're going to give me a better house. So they're saying, I'm not taking your shit, I'm staying here and fighting. And that's what the digger's doing. Crookshank's right-hand man is Chris Diamond. He's the digger's features writer. What these people hate is publicity, and if you could point at them and say, that person in that house deals drugs and is responsible for deaths, and if that means that they can't pursue their trade or have to move on, well, that's a result. The final member of the team is cub reporter Aaron. He's recently been awarded a press card, giving him the freedom of the sheriff court. I've taken the job of photographer in order to gain a deeper understanding of what it's like to be a digger man. Who's this character that we're going to get today, Emily? Um, he's, he's a man who's pled guilty to running a brothel. Running a brothel? He's one of the uh, two we've had over the last couple of weeks. There seems to be a bit of a police crackdown on brothels and stuff, so he's up in court due for sentencing. I'm feeling apprehensive for my first assignment. Photographing criminals is a risky job. The digger has gone through numerous photographers over the last year might have been in the toilet and come out. He's floating around in there. So he's hopefully going to come back out and <coughs> tell us if he's in there. He's really tall, shaven head, thick eyebrows. Shaven head, thick eyebrows. There's a fucking million guys that look like that. 
That's him coming out. That's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. That one comes through the. That's him. Through the. There we go. My first assignment has gone well. I'd photographed one of Glasgow's biggest gangsters and he actually stood there and posed. <laughs> 